good morning students today we will learn introduction to soil mechanics actually soil mechanics is defined as the branch of engineering science which enable an engineer to know theoretically or experimentally the behavior of soil under the action of loads and this loads may be static or dynamic gravitational force water and temperature according to karl terjagi who is also known as the father of soil mechanics soil mechanics is the application of law of hydraulics and mechanics to engineering problems dealing with sediments and other unconsolidated accumulation of solid particles produced by mechanical and chemical disintegration of rock soil mechanics is the branch of science that deals with the study of physical properties of soil and behavior of soil masses subjected to various type of forces so civil engineer must study the properties of soil such as its origin grain size distribution ability to drain water compressibility shear strength and load bearing capacity so soil mechanics then geotechnical engineering and civil engineer you can consider in this way geotechnical engineering is the sub discipline of civil engineering that involves application and principle of soil mechanics and rock mechanics to design of foundation retaining structure and earth structures the question is why we study soil mechanics there are lots of reason to study the uh, soil mechanics virtually every structure is supported by soil or rock those that are not either fly float or fall over there are various reasons to study the properties of the soil like for example foundation to support structure and embankments soil may be studied uh, for the reason that it it may be used as construction material for example like slopes and steps and landslides and problem related to earth retaining structures and there may be some special problems also there is reason to study the properties of the soils are like foundation to support structure and embankment let us discuss one by one effect of static loading and soil mass for example like shear failure of the foundation soil and settlement of the structure and second thing is stability criteria there should be no shear failure of the foundation soil and settlement should remain within the permissible limit this is the uh, criteria for any type of foundation uh, the shear failure must not occur and the settlement should be within permissible limit firm soil it may be spread footing may be used we will discuss this in detail in foundation lectures soft soil pile foundation like vertical members transferring load of structure to ground that is to rock and various reason to study the properties of the soil foundation to support structures and embankments like effect of dynamic loading on soil mass for design and construction of roads following must be considered compaction characteristics and moisture variation the various reason to study the properties of soil is as a construction material so subgrade of highway pavement soil is soil can be used as subgrade material for highway pavement land uh, land uh, reclamation reclamation uh, like for example dubai palm city and earthen dam in this uh, soil is used as a construction material you can see here this is the pavement and these are the 
subgrade materials uh, can be used as a embankment material or as a and the other reason to study the properties of the soil is slope and landslide the major causes in the moisture variation resulting in reduction of shear strength increase of moisture increase in unit weight Ex excavation of trenches for building requires bridge ex excavation all this we will learn in the up upcoming lectures so just this is the introduction part of soil mechanics this landslide of parking area at the edge of steep slope mainly due to increase in moisture content this is the example and photograph showing how the landslide occurs and the earth retaining structures earth retaining structure retaining walls are constructed to retain or hold back any material usually earth and prevent it from sliding or eroding away so we can use different techniques to uh, retain the earth and the earth retaining structures uh, the special problems effect of river water on soil mass like scouring it causes increased flow velocity due to uh, obstruction fineness of river bed material and the stability criteria the foundation of pier must be below the scour depth and another special reason is land erosion and the third one is effect of frost action on soil mass the due to frost frost action reduction of shear strength and settlement of structure in summer lifting up of the structure in winter frost action is a special type of phenomena uh, it occurs in, uh, in the soil because of the variation of temperature and it causes heaving due to formation of ice densities and increases the uh, moisture due to thawing and when that is melting now another question is what is soil soil is defined as the weathered and fragmented outer layer crust of the earth terrestrial surface the term soil according to engineering point of view is defined as the material by means of which and upon which engineers build their structures for engineering purpose soil is defined as the uncemented aggregate of material material mineral grains and decayed organic material solid particle with liquid and gas in the empty spaces between the solid pa solid particles and this empty space is called voids so soil is made up of the solid part and the void <coughs> soil type based on geological and engineering engineering view points are separated dis separately discussed below if we consider geological consideration the soil is basically of two type residual soil and transported soil residual soil when the rock weathering is faster than the transport transport process induced by water wind and gravity much of the soil remain in its place it is known as residual soil and transported soil when the soil is transported through various means like glacier and, and river wind then this type of soil is called transported soil and transported soil can be classified as glacial soil this type the glacial soil is developed or transported and deposited by the action of glaciers these deposits consist of rock fragments boulders gravel sand silt and clay in various properties that is a heterogeneous mixture of all types of particles another is alluvial alluvial soil this type of soil also known as fluvial soil or alluvium is transported and deposited to their present position by streams and rivers what happen coarser or heavier particle reaches higher reaches and finer particle at lower reaches third is aeolian soil aeolian soil this soil transported by geological agent like wind 
and subsequently deposited is known as wind blown soil or aeolian soil and another type of soil is colluvial soil a colluvial soil is one transported down slope by gravity these are two types of down slope movement slow and rapid another type of transported soil is lacustrine and marine soil lacustrine soil is deposited beneath the, beneath the lakes and marine soil is deposited under water that is in the ocean so thank you this is just the introduction of uh, soil mechanics in the up le next lectures we will discuss about the different uh, type of soil their uh, properties and the problems related to soil so thank you thanks for watching